I'm Ivo van Hulten, and I work for Interior Design as a member of the A1 team. In my opinion, what you need most in order to get started is inspiration. I usually listen to music and often work with my headphones on. But I also like to have attractive objects and pictures around me. We first concentrated on this horizontal dash panel, but then we had the idea that it might look good if we made it like an aircraft wing, with the engine suspended from it. Of course, we're building a car and not an aeroplane, and so we didn't want to imitate the engines too closely, but that was our inspiration. When I try out various ideas, it isn't important for all the details to be correct. The next stage is to make a sketch, with the details shown realistically, so that we can communicate with various people within the group. As far as materials and colours were concerned, we wanted to do better than ever before, for instance with an even greater sense of depth. The plan for this component is for it to be customised. People should be able to order it in various colours perhaps with various graphic effects, to match either the body or the interior. You can have a lot of fun with a special colour and make the results more individual. A drawing is only two-dimensional, so what we need next is a three-dimensional version. We take our sketches to the modellers and they make a clay model for us. This is one of the air vents at a very early stage, one of the original parts. In this case, the modeler turned them from aluminium on the lathe, and then we made the clay model. It's all assembled with the clay model like this, and everything else under the surface. We kept on changing the size and position until we were absolutely satisfied, and the air vents were in the correct place for the driver and passenger. This is how the interior gradually takes shape until we have the final version. 